Hello everyone, this is Teacher Paula. I just wanted to come on and make a quick video and let you know that I am making a new video about my backup plan because I initially had one for when I'm traveling and a backup plan in case something goes wrong with my computer. That's really all I've ever had to worry about um, as far as a backup plan. In my mind, I was always thinking, well, if I had any technical issues, I've got a backup plan. I've got a A plan and a B plan. So I'm set, right? No. We had some really bad um, rainstorms in Georgia, really strong winds. We had a power outage from about 430 I want to say until about 10, 1030, maybe Saturday night in Georgia. I live in West Georgia, so I had no power. This is new for me, so I'm making a video to go with my backup plan for technical issues, but also power outages. And I want to make this quick. I don't want this to be too long of a video. I have not done my feedback, guys, and I have not had enough coffee for today. So I'm going to try and sip on my coffee just a little bit and go through my backup plan and how I used that backup plan for a power outage and what I learned from that. So if you're interested in the video, continue to watch. Please give it a thumbs up, like, and share. Especially, please share this information with any new teachers that you might know or anyone that you feel like this would be helpful to them. Please, please share this information. So let's go through my original backup plan because, you know, I had it all together, right? So I use my desktop in my office here. I have a huge touch screen. It's massive. It's beautiful. I love it. It's, it's what I love to use the most. In case I had an issue or technical problem, I have a laptop. I have my laptop charged. I keep it in my office. I can take a couple steps away from my desk and get to my laptop. I have my iPad. Now I use my iPad for Google Slides. I love Google Slides. I use it probably with all of my classes. So I can teach from my iPad. My cell phone, in case of emergency, dire need. Um, I can't think of the I can't think of the site that you can use or the web browser you can go to, but it's on my cell phone in case I need to use my cell phone to teach from. Then I use a Verizon hotspot. I have the hotspot that we purchased, it, purchased and I use that because I'm a little nervous that my cell phone hotspot is not going to be strong enough. I have that also, but I purchase a Verizon hotspot that I use in case of emergency. Plus, I use it for traveling and it works wonders for me. It's better than any Wi Fi I've used and I've never had an issue. I've been with VIP Kid for two years and this plan has worked until this weekend when I had a power outage. So I've learned that this is a good plan, but then I needed a plan B, C, D, something else because. I had no power. Now, I did learn that, okay, make sure that all of these things that I have are charged. So usually when I'm teaching or if I'm doing my feedback, I charge my iPad because I've used it during my classes and I charge my laptop during class or after class. I make sure it's charged so that my evening classes or my weekend classes my laptop is available. So I'm pretty good about one, two, and three, keeping all of these things charged. Well, you know we keep that cell phone charged, right? Um, Hotspot. Mm, it was charged, but it made me realize oh, I need to check it. I don't use it every day. I only use it if I'm traveling or if I'm doing my notes or feedback from somewhere else and I, I just want to use my laptop or if I'm out of town. It I don't use it every day. So guys, 
make sure you check your hotspot or whatever you're using for your Wi-Fi. Make sure it's charged and working well in case you need it. But like I said, I didn't have any power. There were no lights in my house. But my husband is a gadget freak. He's a gadget man, which is a good thing because he built this beautiful office for me. It's absolutely fantastic. I have everything that I need. I don't worry about plugging things in or power or any of that. I mean, I don't have the best lights, but I have nice lighting in here. I have perfect space. Um, to some of you, probably I probably have too much stuff, but that's another video. But I've got to show you the tools that my husband has that came in handy for me that initially I was like, you don't need that. Why do you need that? Okay, perfect reason that mm, mm, next time I might just zip it. Ladies, I'm, I might. I might just keep it zipped when he starts buying these new gadgets. Maybe. Anywho, I did not have lights in my house. So, my husband has this Ryobi light. It is the truth, ladies, guys. It is a serious light. So he uses this when he's doing construction. He's actually finish, finishing the other half of our basement. So he uses this. Well, he walked around the house with this light because it is amazing. I have to show you guys. It's battery operated. So we did not have to worry about um, walking around or not having power or, you know, being stuck to a generator because I know that you can use a generator to power things but he had this magnificent light it comes with a, a, a Ryobi battery he has a whole charging station in the garage yeah it's, it's serious so we have several of these batteries so you take this light and you stick this battery inside of it and the magic happened, guys and ladies, everyone. The magic happened. So I'm going to turn it because it's seriously bright. Holy macaroni. Look at that. That's just one level. Then it goes down. Then it goes off. Right? So let's do that again. That's semi-bright, which is very bright. But then uh, goes down a little bit and then off. So you can change it. You can lift it. You can move it around. <gasps> So I didn't have to worry about lights. I could see. So I was able to teach my classes. Now, I did have to use my laptop. I used my hotspot, which was charged enough to get me going. But then I realized, oh my goodness, I don't have enough power in my hotspot. So I told my husband, I can't charge anything. I can't charge the hotspot. So I took out this trusty battery. The Ryobi battery and another gadget that my husband has. The Ryobi radio. Yeah, you're thinking a radio? Oh, guys, yeah. It has a USB charge. So I was able to take my Verizon hotspot, plug it in, charge it here. While I taught my class, I take this battery. They're interchangeable. Stick it in there. And I was not concerned about my internet, my Wi-Fi. I plugged my USB in there and I was ready to rock and roll. Guys, I taught, I want to say six or seven classes. Boom. Not a problem at all. It worked out perfectly. I'm so excited and so happy that my husband had these Ryobi products. I will type this in um, the the box below this video so you guys can see exactly what it is oh amazing i took this and my husband positioned it on top of my lamp that's behind my desk now and it just worked out perfectly and i had a, a teeny tiny little led light which didn't really give off much light when there is no power at all so this was a learning experience for me that i want to share with you guys um my husband purchased um, a, I can't think of it, <laughs> but he purchased a huge, um, a, a, a huge 
assortment of Ryobi products. And these are a couple that he sells and a couple that he has. We are sold out of the radio and the light. Absolutely sold out. But I want you guys to be able to have this information. So in case you need it, you have a backup plan that will work, not just for technical issues, but for power outages. Because, yeah, I, I wasn't quite prepared for that. Now, I did realize that I could not charge my laptop in case my laptop was not, um, did not last the full time. Luckily, it did. It lasted throughout all of my classes. I didn't have a, an issue with that, but it brought to my attention, I need to think about what can I do for my laptop. So um, I think it was teacher Capricia, Capricia. She had a small generator that she was going to use. So I definitely need to invest in a small generator. But having the battery operated, the cordless wireless light and the charger, I did not have to stay um, in one spot, you know, because the generator is only in one spot or the generator can only um, plug in so many items. Now, we do have a huge household generator and my husband gets it out of the garage. It's big and heavy. And guess what? It didn't work. He couldn't get the generator on, which is, is gas operated. So it's a really big, heavy duty one, which would have to be outside of my um, office. I, I, I wouldn't want that in the basement with me or in my office. So I would have to plug it. And so that means I'd have to have extension cords and the noise. We were concerned about the noise. So I do have a generator for the house. I, um, it wasn't working, so I couldn't use it. So I do need to purchase a small portable generator. And um, I think that's it. My headphones were charged. I use a Logitech Bluetooth wireless. It's, it's wonderful. It works wonders for me. I love it. It's light and easy. I always keep this charged because I can just take out that... Um, USB drive and plug it into my laptop or plug it into whatever I need to use it for and it works So these were fully charged. They last for several hours So that wasn't a concern, but Definitely need the generator. Let me know if there's anything that I missed anything that you guys have come across in any type of emergencies or power outage or technical issues that you can help us all with uh, make a note in the comments and let us know what do you suggest we add or change and I want to say let me have a sip of coffee this is just my experience I am not saying that I am a master or a pro at this I've been with VIP kid for two years now whoop, whoop, and I usually teach anywhere from eight to ten classes in the morning with it being uh, New Year's for Chinese students. I'm also teaching in the evening. So I teach a full load. I, I'm really trying to do this full time. I finally built up my schedule to this. From my experience, I'm just telling you what I do and what I've used and what has worked or not worked so much. <laughs> so if you can help out with any information, please, please, please add in the comments and let me know. All right, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic Tuesday and a jam-packed week of classes. All right. Goodbye, guys. Have a great day.